But I think what I'm going to do, yeah, the weather's starting to look a little bit ugly again. Starting to hear the wind pick up. But I think we're good. I think we're all right. We're going to be fine. As long as we don't go off half cocked into the weather. It's too bad we couldn't camp out in one of these. Can we get in? Yeah, we can. Let's see here. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of places to search this in here. Let's see what's in here. Nothing in there. Painkillers and antibiotics. More chips. Chips are everywhere. Somebody's a chip fanatic. Fishing tackle in a helicopter. A sewing kit. We could actually probably use that. Let's see what's in here. Worn running shoes. Let's see, is that leather? Nylon shoes. Hmm. Nah. Nothing in there, and I don't think I can get to anything above me, can I? No. Unfortunately. Let's see, Lee vehicle. Now, can you get in on this side? Or are you always going to sit on that? Okay, yeah, I am on the opposite side, so that's what I was hoping. I can't check the lockers above me. Why can't I sit over here? That sucks. Should be able to sit over there, dag on it. <laughs> well, here's the hangar. Let's check this car just before we go inside. Let's see if there's anything. Open the hood. No battery. Trunk is course fixed. And no pry bar. Lantern fuel. There we go. Yeah, I don't mind getting a little heavy right now because we're going to probably put a lot of this stuff in storage in here somewhere. Once we use cloth. Once we find a safe place to hole up, I just really need to find a sleeping bag. I'm hoping there will be one in here. Well, there's a hacksaw. Well, that's cool as all get out. That's definitely going to make me too heavy. I wonder if I'm going to find a pry bar in here. Very well could. Let's see what's this? Newsprint roll. Chair. It's a little bit dark in here, but not too bad. Can we get up in this plane? Ooh, we can. Cool. Is there anything in the plane? Not looking like it's so. Let's see. Let's get in the cockpit. Doesn't have a. Doesn't have a glove compartment, I guess. <laughs> Not much in this. Yeah, it's one of those hydro boats or whatever they call them. 
Yeah, if we get the auroras in here, we've got to have to be really careful. Because this place is going to be live with all these wires. Oh, give me a pry bar, my friends. Give me a pry bar. Summers. There's a replacement fuse. That's not what I wanted. Ah, shoot. Actually, we might grab that, to be honest. It's a little bit dark in here. If it's going to be lit, we might as well use it. And it might help us to see if there's a pry bar hidden somewhere. Okay, we need the driving gloves. I need the leather. Mmm, nothing there. Wait a minute. Nope, nothing. No pry bar. A soda. Crunchy stuff. Book. Okay, nothing in there. There's lots of tools and utilities and stuff in here. Come on, give me a pry bar. Broom. <laughs> no, that's not what I need. I need a pry bar. Scrap metal. Hmm. More scrap metal. Redefine wood. Yeah, something tells me, because I'm not finding any place to put a fire in. I may have to just make one. I'm fine with that. Metal pail. This is infuriating. More chips, more soda. Got chips and soda out the wazoo. Let's see here. And more chips. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. This thing's about gone anyway. <laughs> I thought that'd be kind of cool to do. Ooh, sardines. Now that's some pretty good eating. Okay. Well, I think what we're going to do is get out our lantern now. We have got plenty of fuel. But this might light some things up a little bit better so that we can find some tools. Ooh, fresh coho salmon. Hmm. I want to keep it. No, think on it. If you do, th if you hit things just the wrong way, water bottle, and some orange soda. Okay, we've got chips over here. Okay, we already went down there. I think we got us some reclaimed wood, another torch, a Go Energy drink in the sink, mind you, and a. 
Is that a pull cue? No, it's a broom. <laughs> I was like, that would be interesting. So I playing pool. Let's see if there's anything up there. Nothing. A stone. Well, I don't need a stone. Let's see here. Okay, there's all kinds of beds here, but more sardines. Here's a good bed. Okay, we have a sleeping place. This could be our sleeping place. Bandage, cloth pillow, cloth. Got a lamp. Another wool scarf. I've seen it. There's another good bed. Okay. And some wool socks. I'll take the wool socks. Emergency stem. That could be useful. Another energy drink. Yeah, we're going to have to find a place to store this stuff. I think I might just start grabbing things and putting them in a storage location like I usually do. I think I need to be doing it pretty soon because I feel like I'm getting kind of overloaded here. Not in the bathroom. Let's put it in the kitchen. Let's put it in the kitchen. Let's see here. We've got a fridge and cupboards to work with. So let's put it, see how much room we have in the fridge. Okay, we can hold 40 kilograms. That's good. So what can we put in here in the meantime? Let's put some of this... Let's go ahead and put the coho salmon in here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go through this, guys, and drop some of this stuff off, and then we'll go explore some more and see what we can find. Alright, guys. I dropped off pretty much most of the food in here for right now. And still, I'm too heavy. Let's see how much room we have in the cover. We can get up to 15 kilograms in there. That's not great. Hey, it disappeared. 10 kilograms in the cupboard. Eh. Refrigerator holds more than anything. Let's see if we can put some more stuff in here. Let's put some of the, these extra tools that we don't need. I mean, I do want to keep the hacksaw. I just want to know where, have a place where I know where it is. We've got a lot of these. They're taking up a lot of weight. We definitely got to get ourselves underweight here. Uh, we also have a lot of. Let me go ahead and drink that. We also have a lot of firewood. That's probably another thing that's weighing us down pretty heavily too. But, let me go ahead and grab these, just so I have them. There's water. I know I'm going to have to take some food with me if I do any more exploring, but for right now, we are inside. We're good. We just need to get ourselves underweight. So we got beds over here. I think I got everything off of here that I can get off. Yeah, okay. And we're going to come up here, grab some of the scrap metal. We're going to check this entire upper area first. Wait a minute, let me look behind there. There's nothing. More cloth. I just keep hoping for the candy bar. Look, who puts wires? <laughs> I mean, that's nuts. Another flare. Sworn simple parka. We'll take it for now. Book would take. I'm trying to take anything that I can burn. Just make sure there's nothing behind there. 
Still no pry bars. Oh my gosh. Well, at least I know where one is. <laughs> I'll just have to pick it up some at some point when I head back. Some cardboard matches. That one's locked. Can't get it open. Requires a pry bar. Ugh. You're killing me. Firearm cleaning kit. More fleece mittens. Nope, don't do that. And uh, the sewing kit. And more stacks of papers, which we can make into tinder plugs. Wait a minute, we already went there. Okay. Here's a new room. We got tables, planks, metal shelves. Doesn't look like we have anything worth. Oh! No, that's not the case. Is this rifle ammunition? No, it's revolver, but that's okay. Not looking to look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, why can't I get over that? Am I that heavy? Okay, let's see. Flare. I'm got to break that down in order to get past it. That's pretty. That's pretty sad. <laughs> I'm so overweight. Okay, that goes downstairs. We're not going downstairs just yet. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we got more lantern fuel. Nuts and stuff. Gosh. More mittens. A book. And some snappy sody. We got a note. To say is for certain that what security will be like out here. Told the boss a single exit point at the current airstrip would never satisfy our usual standard for evac. Nowhere else in the world will we set him up for a risk like this, but his eyes are open, and so are mine. The build has the green light. 25982. Well, that was a long time ago. Yeah, we'll take it. Okay, let's see here. Nothing. Pry bar! Yes, it has been found. That almost looked like a cable for me there for a minute. Well, we finally found the pry bar, guys. We are in business. How daggone long did that take? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's come over here. We're already overweight. And we're going to start by opening up our first unopenable without a pry bar ragged combat boots but that means leather and a flare shell okay and we are seriously overweight again okay well I tell you what Let's go unload some of this stuff. Let's see if we can't find a place to make a fire. If we can't find a bucket or a fire kettle or whatever the hell those things are called. <laughs> I don't know. Jeez. Because we got a bedroom. We got us a... Heck, we even have a bathroom. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What can we drop off here? Uh, no, let's drop off some of the food first. Crunch these. Got red call them crunch a munch. Let's see. That took our weight down some. If we can get a fire going, I think that's going to be the key here. 
Well, let's look around the bottom part down here and see if there's any... I thought that was another lantern there for a minute. Let me see if there's a... a fire barrel. That's what I was trying to say. A fire barrel. If there isn't, we'll, we'll make our own dag on fire, darn it. <laughs> Already checked that. Wait a minute. This might be one. Nope. Just a regular barrel. <coughs> Yeah, I don't think I checked over here either. Now you watch. Now that I've found a pry bar, I'll be finding them left and right. That's just the way it goes. Let's just see. Oh, we got a mountaineering rope. Then I'm going to grab. I don't need it, but probably a good idea to have it. Wires. Yeah, I am not finding any... Yeah, I want to grab this too while I'm at it. I'm getting way overloaded here. Cannot find a fire barrel. I cannot find a fireplace or a stove. I only had a microwave in the cooking area. Accelerant. Check this one area over here. Suitcase. One cotton scarf and a ragged baseball cap. I am so overloaded. <laughs> a flight jacket. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, that is lovely. That is lovely. Oh, I am taking that. Yes, I am taking my flight jacket. That is cool beans right there, guys. That is seriously awesome. I thought for a minute, that was another pry bar. I was like, you God bless him. Blankety blank. blank, blank. <laughs> Noisemaker. What? Improvised explosive. Used for scaring predators, but can cause in injury if they explode too close. Oh, that's not something I've seen yet. Noisemaker, huh? That would scare off a wolf. That would scare off a bear, maybe. Maybe. Am I going to take that kind of chance? <laughs> Well, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, looks like we got a basement down there, too, to explore. Man, this thing is huge. Okay, before we go any further, guys, we're going to have to get some of this stuff out of our inventory. And the only way to do that is we got to build us a fire. And I'm not sure what time it is anyway. I'm thinking it's getting late. All right, here's the kitchen. We found it. This looks like as good a place as any. Let's see if we can build a fire in here, guys. I don't know that we can or can't, but we're going to see what we can do. Oh, are you serious? Cannot start a campfire indoors. Well, darn. That sucks. So what do we do now? We have to find some place where we can make a fire. Otherwise we can't cook anything. Now let's see what we can do about that flight jacket. Let's see, is this it? 3.6 degrees 
Well, let's see how it compares to the parka. Okay, so this... That's the light shell. That's the waterproof one. Ski jacket. Oh my gosh. Yeah, without a doubt, that is so much better. And that needs repairs. So, let's repair it. It's a hundred percent. We'll wear it. Let's see, we've got a shell which is one degree centigrade and we've got a ski jacket. See, we literally can wear two la multiple layers here. Let's see, this gives us a hundred percent 30% water, 30% water, and parka. Gosh, no wonder we're so overweight. We're carrying a lot of stuff that we don't necessarily need. Well, this only gives us one degree centigrade. This can give us at least two. How much would that go up? Well, this gets us to 2 degrees centigrade. So the ski jacket can give us 2 degrees centigrade above. Let's repair this and see where it takes us. Because if it doesn't get as much, we can get rid of it. It's about the same. It's going to be about the same. But we can only wear one. So we're going to either have to drop some of these off. I think I'm going to drop off the parka. Oh. Might need to light our lamp up here. Okay, we need to refuel this good dude. Let's see here. Well guys, a lot of this stuff can be used to repair stuff. I'm going to basically go through here and try to get the best arrangement of materials that I can wear possible. And take the others and store them somewhere for now. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll be right back. Alright guys, uh, let me show you what I've done here. I have basically put all my food in here for right now. I've put all my tools and other equipment in here, scraps, even the noisemakers for right now. And here are my medicines, the ones I don't need right away. Might even be able to put some of these in here. I think I'll, I'll keep one bandage on me in case. And that'll reduce my weight somewhat. Looks like I got airline food. Huh. That's one I might keep. I didn't even see that. That's cool. We'll put that in there with the food. Keep it all together. And here, these are just extra clothes. This light shell and this simple parka. Can't really do anything with it. If I need to, I can always break it down to get uh, some simple cloth. I can use, I've dropped all the burning stuff now, but my weight is now way under, which is really good. It means I can move pretty fast, so I can explore this place, and maybe find a place to build a fire. That's what I really need to do, but it is nighttime, it's getting late, and I need to sleep until morning. As you can see, the moon is up. 
So I think I'm going to put in a good eight hours. Sounds like it's doing some kind of storming out there. Well, let's see if eight hours is enough. Mm, not quite. Sleep two more hours just to make sure. Gotta remember, this is Canada. <laughs> there we go. Now we got some light. Okay. Now we can see what we're doing. Alright, we can run. <sighs> That's always good. But yeah, let's go ahead and go back downstairs. I want to do some more exploring. I thought this was way down. I guess not. Must be over here. Well, gotta go way over here to get down. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I don't know if any of these things on the walls you can pick up. I don't think so. It's not looking that way. And this is a helicopter. And like the helicopter is out there, there should be some storage lockers in here that we can check out more sewing kits that we need worn trail boots hmm we can break those down get some cured leather nuts and stuff gosh I get a lot of nuts and stuff Oh, I already saw that. Nothing. Alright. I don't think there's anything in the front of this. It's my guess. There's no glove compartment in a helicopter. Let me check the plane. I just can't believe there's no barrels in here. That just really, really kind of surprised me. Hmm. Well, let's go see what the weather looks like. It looks like it might be alright. It sounded a little ugly earlier, but... Okay, I haven't been over there. And I did not check this one, did I? Nope. Stump remover. Another hatchet. <laughs> and my liquid situation is really in desperate need to be fixed. Okay. All right. Let's go outside and see what things look like. Ooh. They do not look good. <laughs> no, they do not. That looks actually kind of ugly. Yeah, we're not we're not taking this on. We're not taking any of that on. No, no. Gonna go right back in here can't even see across the airport. As bright as it is in here, I would have thought it would have been nicer. Well, we've got downstairs that we'll deal with here. Let's see. Okay, no fuel lantern. I keep doing that. I keep leaving my lantern on. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Yeah, what? Where does this go? I don't remember Dua checking this out. Did he go down here? What's in here? No, he did not. I don't remember him going down here at all. 
Ooh, we got us a workbench. Oh, cool. Got some coal. Aha! We have us a forge. He didn't see this. I don't think he saw this. How did he miss that? How in God's green earth did Dula miss that? He couldn't have. That had to be... That had to be on purpose or something. Here's a bed down here, for Christ's sake. Holy crikeys. Not only can I use this to forge, but I can use this to cook things on, too, guys. I have my place to cook things. And we can make stuff. We can use this forge. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be our base right here. I think this is it. This is our base. We just needed to go a little further. Wow. Yeah, because we got everything here we need. We got us a workbench. We got us a place to cook. We have a bed. Don't even need a sleeping bag. I mean, what more can you ask for? Jeez. It's all right here. Oh man. The only thing we're gonna have to be careful though is if we are down here, we're gonna have to be careful of those wires. But I think Well, we can't jump, can we? No. Might be a good idea to make a path. Yeah, see, now we can get through and we don't have to worry about those stupid wires. So if anything goes screwy. And we have accelerant. Jeez. This place is awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to clean this place up and make it, and make it nice. Let's see what this says. We got another note. Welcome associate here at Field 31. We take pride in being a pilot's best resource in the wilderness. From refilling to resupplying to a hot cup of coffee, our goal is to be a welcome way station for all visitors. From time to time, sensitive and hazardous cargo will pass through our hands, and we need to make sure all precautions are taken to safeguard it while it is in our care. Your supervisor will direct you in all work tasks that may or may not interest, interest, I'm sorry, intersect with such cargo. Otherwise, it's nothing field associates need to concern themselves with. This is for your safety. Similarly, any off-field visitors you may see handling unlabeled cargo are not to be engaged or noted in any way. Their clearance is pre-checked before they arrive. We hope you find your work in our little outpost rewarding day shift supervisor. Okay. Alright. Well, I think the gist is we're going to need to clean some of this out. Now there is... There's plenty of places we can get wood. What? I thought there's something on there. Can't get rid of those tubs, but we can get rid of all those pallets. And I think there was another one on the other side over here too. I could be wrong, but was there one? Or is that the only one? Yeah, maybe that's why he missed it. That's the only place you can go down, I think, here. Yep. Yeah, see, this just goes up. Yeah, I don't think he saw that. Little basement workshop with all kinds of good stuff down there.
Yeah, it doesn't look any better out here. I didn't see any good storage places for the food, so we're going to have to keep it up here for now. Okay, we only have all the wood we need. Take it down here. I see we got coal here too, but I'm going to save that for when we actually do some forging. So let's go ahead and drop the wood. Actually, let's go ahead and light something. Take the charcoal. Start the fire. We have accelerant. We have everything here we need. Let's just use that. And we're going to add fuel to the fire. Add fuel, the book, fire log, the reclaimed wood, and the sticks. It's going to give us nine hours. Put the pot there. Let's make a tin of coffee. Yeah, what I want to do here is I want to see if I can find any place to store anything down here. I don't think there is anything, though. I think we're pretty much limited, except maybe for this, but that can only hold, like, maybe, yeah, five kilograms. I wish we could craft a, a, some, some kind of storage thing, but we cannot do that. Six minutes until ready. Okay, that was just to kill time. That should make us warm. Warm it up. And I'm going to go upstairs. Get some food in my stomach. Alright, everything is full. We're warming up. Everything's looking good. We have plenty of light. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and take... Pass the time and that'll save the game. And I think we're going to try to go out later on. Maybe may have to be tomorrow. <laughs> And check to see what's around here but right now with that storm it's just too bad so we're gonna go ahead and pass the time and save this game all right guys well at the moment there's not a whole lot we can do but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and we will be back with another episode of Tales of a Far ter Territory of Long Dark. 
And until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.